Okay, back in the woods this morning. Uh, got up that fur that I pre-failed. I kind of got it a little bit uh, pulled up right there. I'm gonna grab these two. And then go right out there, that bunch right there, I kind of uh, had just pre-pulled out to the uh, trail there. So working this and then uh, another trail right over there. We'll work on getting all this wood here gathered up. So anyways, it's coming. It's uh, just a little ways in and out, so it takes a little time. So. Okay, we'll uh, give this a give this a yank here. You gather them up like that, they all kind of tangle together. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get them sorted out. But, anyways, you see, I got a couple more I got to get back there. But, uh, again, just working on releasing these uh, crop trees. So, I just pulled those two off that pine right there. I got a couple more to take around it. But, we'll come out here. I got uh, essentially nine chokers. But I try to double up quite a few if I can. So I'll work on doubling a couple of these, freeing up some chokers, and uh, oh, and uh, getting the rest of this gathered up here. That's the plan today. Okay. Over now. Gathering it up. So we got a bunch up there to get. Scattered over there to get. Riverjack 208, 1980, 81. a pretty little skitter. Just had to put a starter on it. I had problems at the beginning. I changed the solenoid, but uh, evidently needed a starter. So we did that last weekend. So, but seems to work good now. Okay. Well, I already opened down a couple of wood. I just got a one more cleanup hitch in the woods. We'll probably work up what we have. Just grabbing a bunch of uh, 16s here. And just worked up some more of the wood here, but still got a fair amount to get through. So I yarded, uh, I think I yarded three, four hitches this morning. The end pile's growing pretty good. Trying to merchandise this fur out, you create a lot of that. It's rotten. So 
problem. He drives putting up so high, and then, then they roll over the back. Then the guy of the truck comes and he can't get them. You got three or four back here. But they'll get them as I'm out. But stuff was uh, ready to be cut. A lot of it had to be butted back. But there's some of them you can definitely see where it uh, where it was released. Made that out or not, but you see right here, it was pretty tight, and the, the growth ring started to get pretty good through here. But. Probably get the rest of that cut out and see where we stand. It's all that good. Okay. This is drying up a little bit. That's a plausible positive. All right, just made the last hit of the day. That's number eight right there. Number seven. This is what I yarded uh, most of yesterday. Dad's been out uh, working it up here today as as I brought it out. So got a pile there still to go through. And this is what he's merchandised it up into so far. Anyway, we're going to, uh, what I'll do is, I don't know when Dad's coming back up to work these up, so in order to keep, save me room here, I'm going to deck those up onto that pile, those last two hitches. If, uh, you know, if he's working them up as I bring them out, I don't have to do that, but otherwise I'll, I'll run out of room, so. We're going to deck these up real quick, call it a day. There it is. I don't know in that pile, but it needs to be cut with a rod in it. Massey Ferguson 4707 over there. Uh, I don't know how much is there either. I haven't scaled that up, but got plenty of butts though. Ends. So over here we just got a little bit of pulp wood. Pile goes up slow, so. Okay. It's all for now.